The Seminole Tribe of Florida is moving to appeal a federal judge's decision to block its gaming deal with Governor DeSantis and the state. Now, for now, all bets are off when it comes to Florida's recent gaming compact with the tribe after a judge found the compact violates federal and state law. So what does it mean for the future of sports betting in Florida? And how about the thousands who already place bets or maybe have money in the app on their sportsbook app? 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser is looking into it for us. Sports betting and all gaming encompassed under the compact is invalidated. Daniel Wallach, an attorney who specializes in sports betting law, says Judge Daphne Friedrich found the compact between the state of Florida and the Seminole Indian tribe violated years of legal precedent when it came to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act, or IGRA, which states wagers must be placed on tribal land, not just processed there. The only type of gambling that is allowed to occur is what takes place exclusively on Indian land and nowhere else. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Wallach says the legal fallout is this. For now, no more off-site sports betting. That includes the popular Hard Rock app. I know people don't put thousands of dollars into the system. Which has lots of online bettors like Albert Perry wondering what happens now. Will I be able to get all my money back from the bets that it was already placed? There's no good legal reason or, or, or business reason for them to hold on to customer monies. And because the entire compact was struck down, Wallach says don't look for expanded table games anytime soon either, like craps or roulette. State lawmakers, he says, have to start over, perhaps allowing on-site sports wagering, then leaving it to Florida voters to decide if they want to expand that to online betting. The power resides in the people to pass a ballot measure to bring online sports betting to the state potentially as early as January of 2023. As crazy as it might sound, Wallach also wonders if some might try to get refunds on bets they lost, arguing the tribe should have held off on taking those wagers until they knew it was legal to do so. The federal court decision will be appealed, he says, but whether they'll succeed, Wallach says don't bet on it. By the way, you can withdraw money out of your Hard Rock Sports app as of right now. We'll see if that does change. Now, the federal ruling is also considered a big win for gambling competitors. Magic Casino, Magic City Casino, and Bonita Springs Poker Room down in South Florida. Both companies challenged the deal. Other digital wagering platforms, big companies, DraftKings, FanDuel, you've heard of them. They've invested millions in a political action committee aimed at legalizing sports betting at casinos, sports venues, and paramutual sites statewide. We'll keep you up to date on that.